Hi, Asher here. Passwords. Uh, passwords, they, they are the keys to the kingdom. There's really uh, just three ways to authenticate uh, to computer systems these days, and that's it. it's who you are, uh, what you know, or what you have. And so we really bundle those three things into who you are is your biometrics. So it's your fingerprints, maybe a, a retinal scan, uh, I don't know, those types of things. What you know, and that's really what this article is about, is passwords. And then finally, what you have might be your, your cell phone or a, a key fob or a badge, uh, something like that. So this, this article is really about passwords and how what you know is still currently 90 plus percent of how we're authenticating the systems. And that comes down to a password. How do you keep that password secure? So we've got a great article here, Best Ways to Keep Passwords Organized. Uh, really, we outline three different systems, how you could use Excel or a spreadsheet and password protect that, how you could use some password management software, and finally, just how you could use a good old-fashioned piece of paper and a notebook in case you're um, concerned about your you know, digital files going missing or not being available or being compromised here. So I highly recommend you check this out. It's got some great tips on how to organize your passwords. And um, they're just so critical, uh, outline some best practices. What we see, we usually, uh, we just finished a, um, an ethical exercise here for a client where we we're able to reset one password for one account and use that to escalate to more and more until finally we were able to get into their, their email system. And then in their email, they had all their, their receipts and different accounts for, for systems they had access to and we could just methodically walk through there and reset all those passwords. We didn't have to do that. The example proved true enough. But um, I think your passwords is uh, a system of a hierarchy. And um, what's the most critical one that you have in creating a super you know, specific, unique password for just that one? And then as your second tier level passwords are things that um, you know are sensitive, but you know, um, such as banking. I mean, people think of their banking passwords as super secure, and, and, and they should be, but um, there's other mitigating factors that make them pretty difficult. I mean, if someone did get into your bank account, um, it's still today, depending on your bank, it's still pretty difficult to get all that money siphoned out of there. So, and then finally, just like your social accounts or, um, you know, some shopping accounts and things like that. So think your passwords as a hierarchy system. They all don't have to have super secure, but if you do want to have a good uh, way to organize your passwords, this is a great article for you, and I highly recommend you check it out. So stay safe, and thanks for checking it out.